Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory be to God. We want to thank God for peace in our nation. We want to thank God for wisdom of God for our leaders. We want to thank God for everyone that choose to say no to violence. There are ways of redress that are better than violence. I want to thank God for what he's doing in Nigeria. I want to thank God for what he's doing in your country, in your family, and in your life. My prayer is that God's will be done in Jesus' name. This week, we want to learn for the first four days, we'll be having the topic, Know It. Know It. Knowledge is ever power anywhere in the world. Knowledge is ever enough to feed you. Knowledge is enough to put you where God wants you to be. If you have the enough of it, and also um, that is so Monday to Thursday. So this recording is for Monday to Thursday, and I pray that the Lord Himself will speak to you, speak through to me and through me also in Jesus' name. Let us pray, Father. We thank you for your faithfulness. This recording, we ask that you will speak through this recording to all of us, individuals, nations, families, and corporate organization, private organization, public uh, association, and all. That Lord, we will be able to actualize your essence and purpose in the name of Jesus. We ask that your name be glorified. Thank you, precious Redeemer, in Jesus' name. Amen. So know it, so we are running it, and um, the test for this is Genesis 28.16. Genesis 28.16, but Genesis 28 is the story of Joseph's departure. He was on a hole, running from his brother, going to his uncle. It's like a Japa series for him, and uh, he thought, oh, it's going to be this way. But thank God for what he met on the way. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You encounter God in the name of now. Let's read the text as we go. The Bible says, and Jacob awaked out of his sleep and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place. And I knew it not. Wow. The Lord is in this place, and I know it's not. And that reminded me of a man married to a wonderful lady. And unfortunately for him, he never understood or knew this lady. So they are always quarreling. And the lady will ask the question, okay, so why are you angry with me? The man will just say, no, 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 no. So one day, he went out and he returned before the time he should. And the lady was home praying for him, praying, pleading with God. Bless my husband. That changed everything from that day. Your knowledge gives you new horizon on things. From that day on, the wife just knew that the man changed. Because he sneaked in and went back. And went somewhere in a park to reflect on what he saw. So this woman is the reason behind my story. She even knew things I have not told her. So from that day, he treated the lady. So in this series, we want to just talk about knowledge. In Proverbs 25, what knowledge can do to you? Proverbs 25 verse 2, the Bible says God conceals things. That's why you notice that the greatest blessings of this world are concealed. Diamond is concealed, um, gold is concealed, oil is concealed, bitumen is concealed. Name them, they are concealed. And anyone that discovers them will always be blessed. Any nation that uncover recently, there's a there's there's something that somebody mentioned that Nigeria has that called California, and they say that it's worth so much that one gram is millions of dollars. Wow, what a blessing that could be! But the nation did not know until now, and it has been something that is causing this nation pain because some people discover it and want to annex it to themselves. That is the same thing. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is a blessing in your life that you have not been able to unravel, that you don't know yet, and that is in your life to bless you, may God open your eyes to see them. 
a guy was looking for water she was dying of thirst and there's a well of water around her i'd like you to pray for yourself father open my eyes to see your blessing in my life open my eyes to see the provision you have made for my life open my eyes to see opportunities that you have given to me that i've not been able to utilize open my eyes to see help me to know so that i can prosper in jesus name we pray amen and in job chapter 8 verse 8 the bible say ask the former people ask them search out and let if wisdom be your blessing. When you know about what they do that made them prosper, it will be good for you. When you know what they did and made them fail, it will be easy for you to avoid it. God bless you. See you.